hello and welcome today we are going to learn the fillet command in the solid works there are different types of the fillets available in the solid works as you can see that this is one of the type fillet that is a round fillet and there is a fillet between this face to this face the face fillet the constant size fillet the variable size fillet and the special types of the fillets options available in the solid box will study each and every types of the fillet let's start create a new part file let's change the background to plain white and start with any plane i'm going to start with the front plane and create a rectangle here provide the dimension is 100 mm and this one also 100 mm go to feature and extrude it up to 100 mm to create a perfect cube now let's start with the different options go to fillet there are four types of the fillets constant size fillet the variable size fillet face fillet and the round we are going to practice each and every types of fillet first of all let's start with the constant fillet now it is asking for the selection of the s face feature or loops and there are the fillet parameters let's select any edge suppose this edge and after selecting there is a pop up for the other options and you can apply this option directly if you want all the 12 edges including this edge you have to choose this and you can select the four edges only this option is available in the top of now you see the profile options circular one this one is the circular with 10 mm radius if you choose the conic you have to provide the conic areas of well radius value if it is uh, 0 0.7 you can see the variation in the shape of the fillet suppose if it is 0 0.9 as you vary the value the, it will create the parabola hyperbola elliptical and circular any shape this is the conic area so conic radius means you have to provide the variation in the radius suppose if it is 5 mm or if it is 15 mm it will change the shape accordingly this one is the conic radius the curvature continuous you can change the value from directly here suppose if it is 15 this is the curvature continuous profile this is a constant size fillet simply click ok now go to fillet edit the feature select the edge now you can select the multiple edge at a single time suppose if it is 20 mm radius and there is a option setback parameter setback parameter means you can change the transaction shape suppose if there is a plain transaction shape between this transaction of the fillets the setback parameter will change the shape of the transaction suppose if you select the setback parameter and provide the vortex suppose let's click this one and select this now you will find the options you can change the these values suppose this one is 5 mm and if this one is 10 mm and another one is 
15 mm then you will see the change in the preview simply click ok then you will see the application of the setback parameter in this way you can change the shape of the transaction simply click and delete delete this fillet now we are going to practice the another options go to fillet here is a variable size fillet simply click it and select any face now here are the two options symmetric and asymmetric in the in the symmetric options you can change the value suppose if it is 5 and if this value is 15 mm you will see the variation in the fillet shape you can change the smooth transaction as well as the straight transaction you can see the change in the shape of the fillet you can apply the setback parameter same as in the previous one or you can change the value from here suppose if it is 10 you can change this value as a 20 simply click ok and you will get the variable type of fillet again go to fillet there is a third option that is face fillet for the face fillet you have to select the two faces for this we are going to create a shape here go to sketch normal this draw a circle anywhere in the face simply click ok and go to feature and extrude it up to 30 mm simply click ok now there are two faces this vertical face and this horizontal face we are going to create the fillet between these two faces go to fillet select the face fillet now select this face and in this section select this face now you can change the fillet parameters from here there are four options available symmetrical core width asymmetric and whole line we will practice according to the selection suppose if it is 10 mm you will see the variation in the shape of the fillet you can select the profile as previous now go to the chord width and let's zoom it see the variation by changing the value if you provide the 5 mm then the shape will change accordingly if you provide the 15 mm core width then the shape will change as in the preview if you choose the asymmetry you have to provide the two values the value for this part and value for bottom part this face suppose if this is 5 mm and this one is 10 mm you will see the profile accordingly simply click ok this is the face fillet now there is another option also available this is the round fillet for the round fillet you have to select the three faces and it will automatically create the round fillet between the faces and in the third one select this face now you will see the round fillet automatically created you cannot change the radius it will automatically generate the fillet in this case this is the full round fillet simply click ok there is a, another option also available go to this face and create a drawing suppose center simply click ok go to feature and extrude it up to 30 mm this one is ok now go to the fillet 
and go to the face fillet in the face fillet there is another option select this face in here this face i will see the radius as a preview and there is a whole line option whole line you have to select the line now you can see the preview with the application of whole line for this you have to select the curvature continuous option if you select the circular the shape will be circular if you select the curvature continuous and whole line you will find the fillet between these two lines in between with the help of this two faces this is the feature of a face fillet in this way you can learn the you can use the fillet command in the solid box this much for today and we will practice the other commands available in the solid box in the next tutorial stay with us bye bye for today